Hello friends, in this part on online examination tutorial series, we have again go to admin side, and here we want to make web page, in which admin can view all user who has enroll in particular examination. There are some part is left at admin side in this online exam system, and this is one part, in which we will make user list, who has take part in particular examination, so admin can view all user list of single exam can view on single page. For this things, we have go to exam.php file, and here we have add one enroll column in HTML table. Now we have go to ajaxaction.php file, and here we have go to page exam block, and under this, we have go to action fetch block. Here we have write subarray variable is equal to, anchor tag with ref is equal to, exam enroll.php file, with code variable is equal to, dollar row online exam code variable by click on this admin user can view user list who has enroll in this examination friends here we have login in master side in this system and here we can view exam list page first we have refresh web page after refresh of web page here we can see on column has been appended in exam list web page, admin can view all user who has take part in particular examination. For make exam enroll user list, we have go to exam enroll.php file, and here first we have write include statement, with header.php file, it will include all of header.php file into this file. After this, we have go to HTML code part, and here we have make one table with ID is equal to enroll table. In this table, we have defined six table column like, image, name, gender, mobile number, email status and result now we have go to jquery code part and here we have write code variable is equal to echo statement with dollar get code variable value after this we have write data table variable is equal to table id enroll table with data table method it will initialize jquery data table plugin under this method we have write processing option which has been set to true this will control the processing indicator then after we have defined second option server side set to true, this option will enable data tables in server side processing mode. After this, we have defined order option with blank array value, this will initial remove column order from table. Now we want to load enroll user list data by using Ajax in this data tables, so we have define ajax option here under this we have first define url option and in this option we have write ajax action.php file it will send ajax request to this file then after under ajax option we have to define other option like type set to post so here we have defined data send method, which has been set to post method. For send data to server, 
with Ajax request, here we have write data, and under this we have write action variable, with fetch value, and page variable with enroll exam value, and code variable value has been sent with Ajax request. Now in data tables option, we have defined one more column definition option, from this option we can set column definition initialization properties. Under this, we have defined target sub option with column number like 0 in array. By using this option, it will remove default table sorting feature from first column. Now we have go to Ajax action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post page variable value is equal to exam enroll. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have again write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. Below this, we have write dollar exam ID variable is equal to dollar exam object with get exam ID method, and under this we have write dollar post code variable value, this method will return exam ID. Now we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select star from user exam enroll table inner join user table on user table dot user ID is equal to user exam enroll table dot user ID in where condition we have write user exam enroll table dot user ID is equal to dollar exam id variable value below this query we have write if statement and under condition we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post search value variable if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and here we have write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like user table dot user name like dollar post search value variable it will search data in user name table column same for search data in user gender table column data so here we have write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like or user table dot user gender table column like dollar post search value variable for user data in user mobile number table column so here we have write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like or user table dot user mobile number like dollar post search value variable and lastly for search data in user email verified table column so here we have write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like or user table dot user email verified like dollar post search value variable value now for sort data, here we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post order variable. This condition will be true, if it has received request for table column, sorting. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object, with query variable, 
and here we have append query like order by dollar post order zero column and dollar post order zero with directory index this query will sort particular column data in ascending or descending order but suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query like order by user exam enroll table dot user exam enroll ID in ascending order now we have define one dollar extra query variable is equal to blank value below this variable we have write if condition and under condition we have write dollar post length variable value is not equal to minus one if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar extra query variable and here we have append query like limit dollar post start variable value comma dollar post length variable this query is for pagination now we have write dollar filtered rows variable is equal to dollar exam object with total row method this method will return number of rows affected after above query execution after this we have again write dollar exam object with query variable and here we have append query of dollar extra query variable now we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method it will return query execution result in array format after this we want to get total data of user table for this also we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select star from user table inner join user table on user table dot user id is equal to user exam enroll table dot user id where user exam enroll table dot exam id is equal to dollar exam id variable value below this query we have write dollar total rows variable is equal to dollar exam object with total row method it will return number of rows affected after execute above query after this we have write dollar data variable is equal to blank array now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to array now we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to upload folder name slash dollar row user image variable it will display user profile image For display username data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row username variable. For display user gender data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row user gender variable. 
For display user mobile number data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row user mobile number variable. Now here we have write dollar is email verified variable is equal to blank value. After this, we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row user email verified variable is equal to yes if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar is email verified variable is equal to label tag with bootstrap class badge and badge success with yes as text but suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar is email verified is equal to, label tag with class is equal to badge and badge danger, with no as text. Now we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to, dollar is email verified variable, it will display email verification status. After this, we have write define dollar result variable is equal to blank value. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar exam object with get exam status method with dollar exam ID variable is equal to completed if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and link for view exam result under this block we have write dollar result variable is equal to anchor tag with ref is equal to user exam result dot php file with code variable is equal to dollar post code variable value and id variable is equal to dollar row user id variable value by click on this user can view exam result of particular user now we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar result variable value so here we have store all data in dollar sub array variable now we want to store in dollar data variable for this here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar sub array variable after this we have write dollar output variable is equal to array in first key we have write draw and in value we have write dollar post draw variable in second key we have write records total and in value we have write dollar total rows variable value in third key we have write records filtered and in value we have write dollar filtered rows variable value and in last key we have write data and in value we have write dollar data variable value now we want to send this data to ajax request in json format so here we have echo statement with json encode method and under this we have write dollar output variable so here our code is ready so now we have check output in browser friends here we can see exam list on web page and in each exam list we can see enroll button by click on this button then we can see enroll user list of that exam so we have click on enroll button after click on this link here we can see exam enroll user list in jQuery data table plugin.
This is the that user list, who has enroll or take part in this online examination, in this system. Here we can see that, data has been load in jQuery data table plugin, so here pagination, searching feature has been built, without writing any line of code. Here we can also check user email verification process, that means user has verify his or her email or not. So, in this part, we have learned how to load online examination enroll user data in jQuery data table plugin, with server side processing, and in next part we will discuss, we will make, single user exam result if you have some suggestion regarding this php based online examination system you can comment in comment box if you want to learn this system please stay connected with us